hey guys i'm back with another video today i'm gonna be doing a full face makeup with some new makeup brushes that i got sent to me really excited to use these brushes because i was in desperate need for some new makeup sponges and i was like when is a better time than now to go ahead and do like a full face makeup routine but there's a twist to it i'm going to be trying to copy it's my ray ray makeup tutorial she did a full face makeup color pop look so i'm going to be following her lead and i'm going to be hoping that my makeup comes out as flawless as hers so yeah if you all are interested in watching then stay tuned don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also if you don't follow me on social media then go ahead and follow me on instagram without further ado let's hop right into this video so the makeup sponges that i got is from keezer pro and they're premium quality makeup sponges it comes with three sponges in one box i'm gonna go ahead and open it up so you guys can see what it looks like so inside you see it has a regular beauty blender it also has a gel beauty blender inside and lastly we have a skin cleaning sponge so what you do is just wet this with some water and it's basically used for after you put your makeup on like when you're taking it off cleaning your face and stuff like that so yeah i'm gonna be using these today and i'm gonna go ahead and play it's my Ray's video right now oh yeah although she's doing a color pop video i don't got nothing color pop so i'm just gonna use what i have and try to mimic the look that she went for and just try to get it as similar as possible so everything i'm gonna be using is gonna be color pop so let me just stop my yapping right now and get right into the video because i'm super excited because i haven't used this foundation in a long time i'm not gonna lie this is the color pop no filter foundation i'm gonna be using this all over my face cover up these blemishes because i am breaking out so i'm gonna take my urban decay sample that i got from the mall this is the color medium dark 135 by the way if you hear like a little not a buzzing noise but like a fan in the background it's because um i'm filming at home now I'm trying to like get my setup ready so when the baby comes i can't like we're gonna move on to the no filter concealer i'm gonna take my lightest one since that's what she's doing medium dark 34 and fair 06 I'm gonna first go with Fair 06, and I know you're probably like, what the heck, Ray? Like, you know darn well that is too light for you. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it. So don't worry, not gonna, <laughs> we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. I'm gonna do Golden 40, which I'm running out of. This one is actually like, I used to use this one all over my face. So when I say full face, cause you know, you gotta clarify for people on YouTube. People be getting emotional about titles and stuff. I get it, I get it. I'm gonna use this fluffy brush to just blend out the concealer. I feel like right now in the beauty community, everybody is like on edge and it's like, yo, chill. It's just makeup. Can we just be happy? This is supposed to be a happy place. Orky dorky, my favorite part. I'm gonna be using the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. Sometimes I like to go back with my finger just so the concealer can really be blended since you're, I mean, nothing's really better than your finger. First time I used this setting powder, I didn't really like it. I still will say it's not my favorite. Like, I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite. Like, I don't, honestly, I don't um, reach for it. There's only three that I reach for, but obviously this is a full face ColourPop, so. We're gonna use it. Woo, it's hot up in here. <laughs> All right, so ba-boom. Eyeshadow, we're about to move on to. I'm excited for this because we're gonna do a vampy look. I'm gonna be using the new palette, new eyeshadow palette for my transition color. I'm gonna go in with Culture from the Perception palette. Funny because so many of you are like, Ray, bring back Stingray. <laughs> I don't know guys. And I'm not bringing it up because it's gonna come out. That's not why I'm bringing it up. It just came to my mind. Next color I'm gonna go in with is Revenge from the Perception palette again. But I'm gonna lightly dip into this because I don't want this color to overpower the other color I'm gonna use in the other palette. Now that we got our transition color all situated, I'm going to take the, we're gonna bring it back because I feel like Everyone's been focusing on the ColourPop powder shadows, the, the pressed shadows. We're gonna go back to the Super Shock shadow, and I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if this color is still available or if it's discontinued. This is the color Melrose, and it looks like this. And one thing I love 
about these is you can use your fingers again your fingers i'm just gonna go in here and get a lot because this is gonna be my base before i put the other color on this is what it looks like on my finger and i'm going to apply that all over my lid it's a really really pretty perfect brick color and you honestly can wear this color on its own and just blend it out with your finger and go we're gonna go on with the color reckless and this is from the good sport palette this baby right here and we're gonna put that right over the base oh yes oh that's exactly what i was looking for it looks so pretty oh that color is so pretty okay now i'm going to blend it out i'm just gonna smoke it out so that it blends in with the transition color i'm actually gonna go back in the perception palette and use revenge so that i can have it just blend out a little bit more Ooh, i wish i was going somewhere with this color right now but i'm not i'm gonna wash it all off this does not look like what she's doing <laughs> i can't go to the airport like this now what i'm also going to do is i'm gonna lightly lightly dip in revenge yo my underpits are dripping i just want to deepen it a little bit but also not wash off the color there we go that's what i was looking for then i'm gonna go back again in reckless i just want to keep building this up and keep deepening this color erky darky time for some lashes ColourPop doesn't have lashes but i cannot wait for the day for them to have lashes so i'm gonna be using lily lashes in the style hollywood and i'm gonna apply those really quickly now that i have my lashes on i'm gonna let the glue dry i'm gonna wipe off this um translucent powder or baking powder whatever so for my lower lash line the only colors i'm gonna use is we're gonna go in again with revenge from the perception palette i'm gonna take reckless now dig into that thing so we're gonna go in with played out from the perception palette and i'm really only gonna focus it on the outer part though i'm not gonna put it all the way oh yeah that's what i needed i'm not gonna bring it all the way to i don't i can't talk y'all i'm only gonna bring it to the center so i put my mascara on because i don't want to get any powder on my um, lashes i'm gonna use the ColourPop no filter sheer pressed powder in the color medium this is what it looks like just to tidy up under the eye and clean up the shadow all right now that we look nice and bright i don't believe Wait, ColourPop doesn't have mascara? ColourPop doesn't have mascara. Time to add mascara, and we're not gonna talk about who it's from, cause it don't matter. But I can't wait for ColourPop to come out with some mascara. ColourPop, do it right. Come out with some affordable lashes. Now we're gonna move on to the face. I'm gonna use the ColourPop K-Pop Bronze Me. I feel like sometimes I prejudge products a lot, and I'm like, nah. I'm not gonna like this, not my style. And then when I use it, I'm like, oh. I'm gonna use Crush On You. This is the new highlighter palette they just released. And I'm gonna use Poker Face. Oh, this is interesting. So it's not even really a powder. It's more of a, it's like a pressed version. I don't know if you can see it. Like a pressed version of the Super Shock. I didn't even realize it. No wonder it doesn't. For the lip, I'm gonna be using really dark um, lip liner. Pitch, also from ColourPop. The Slay Day Lip Collection, season 10. I think I wanna make my inner corner a little darker, so I'm actually gonna use the brown lip pencil and the color Pitch, and I'm actually gonna use it on my lower lash line. Oh yeah, that's what I needed. I was missing something. I don't really like using black on my waterline that much. I'd rather use a dark brown. Okay, I'm almost done with this look. But this whole time, I'm sitting here like, when is she gonna do her eyebrows? Come to find out, she already did it before the video. So I'm gonna go do my eyebrows off camera because I feel like this look just cannot come together unless my brows are done. So I'll be right back. Check me out. Ooh. Ooh. I would have never thought to put these looks together. It looks so good. I hope you all are having a wonderful holiday. And I'm looking forward to putting out more videos for you guys. I love you guys so much. And yeah, that's going to wrap this video up. Bye, guys.